my name's Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really quick roundup of the one week one pattern challenge that I took part in recently. So this was organised by the lovely Shona from Satisfaction. So it's run over previous years as well and the idea is that over the course of a week you wear the same pattern every day and document it and show how you've styled it and it's kind of done through Instagram and Facebook and that sort of thing. So I decided to take part this year. I had a few different ideas of what I could use pattern wise, but I wanted something that would run the gamut of weekend looks, evening looks, and also workwear. So for me, one pattern clearly stood out and that is the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. I've made so many of these. I think they're probably about 12 last count. They can be made in kind of fun fabrics, stripy fabrics, really plain fabrics. And there's also different kind of pattern hacks you can do to change things up. I mean, the pattern comes with various options anyway. So you can have a ruffled sleeve, sort of ruched sleeve, or you can have like a ruched bit here. You can have shorter sleeves, longer sleeves. Um, so various different things anyway, but I've also made a couple of different versions anyway, where I've kind of done some pattern alterations, but I'll share them with you as we go. So I'm gonna start off with what I wore on day one. So this was last Saturday. And this was my first ever Agnes, so I figured it was appropriate to wear for the first day of the challenge. And also it was a weekend, so this is definitely not work appropriate, but it's definitely a play top. So it's got these amazing sugar skulls, and I got this fabric um, from Fabrics Galore. Um, I don't, I've never seen it anywhere else, so I'm pretty sure they wouldn't still have it, but it is amazing. Um, so I did the version with the ruched elastic bit here. And just long sleeves, really simple, but it's really great fabric. It's it's been washed again and again, and it's still really soft, really holding up well. And it's got it's quite nice and thick. It's got some weight to it, so it does keep you nice and toasty. So that's number one, and that was just literally, as I said, just hanging out during the day. So day two was quite a casual day again. So loafing around in comfies. Um, so I've got uh, a vest version that I made here. So this was just some leftover grey jersey I had. A friend of mine had asked me to make her a vest of the Agnes top. So I did some kind of trials myself to see if it would work before I kind of made the pattern for her. So I really scooped out the back. I actually used the front piece as the back piece, um, but then scooped out the back further um, and then just scooped the arms in a little bit and then I just cover stitched all around the neckline and the armholes. So if you're looking for a basic vest pattern, you've already got the Agnes pattern, I definitely recommend trying the vest hack on it because it's brilliant. So day three was my very French Breton striped Agnes. I made this specifically to go to Paris. If you haven't seen my handmade wardrobe in Paris video I'll link it here so you can have a look but this fabric is amazing it is so lovely it's from Guthrie Garney and it is this lovely loop back jersey really lovely to work with really lovely to wear so obviously that's the start of my working week Monday so just teamed this with a navy skirt and off I went um, it looks really chic and kind of French you know really perfect for work so you know while you can wear this one casually it's also you can team it up with a nice smart skirt and it looks really nice for work then the next day so this is day four i think we're on now i wore my agnes dress hack so the boiler broke at work so i was very pleased to wear this so this is i'll put pictures up anyway so you can see um so this is my almost bubble wrap texture jersey it's so warm and snuggly it's brilliant and I did it just with ribbing on the cuffs there and on the neckband. But yeah, I really love this dress. So again, really good for work. I mean, it can be worn casually as well. And most of these can, but you know, these are the sorts of things I like to wear to work as well. And then day five, I went for a basic black version of my Agnes top. So this one, I, this one's got shorter sleeves, so it's just sort of like half sleeves. And I did the ruching on this one just so it would add a bit of interest so it wasn't completely plain. And uh, I quite like the little ballerina leotard look that it gives. So you just wore this one with some culottes. And then day six, another work day. So this one is a three quarter length one. I got this fabric free in the Sewing Weekender fabric and pattern swap. So 
bargain free top and this one was just teamed with some Pauline Alice sorrel trousers so again very nice for work very smart very work appropriate and then the final day of the challenge uh, is a Friday and I don't work on Fridays so wearing my more casual stripy version this one definitely feels more casual to me with the bigger stripes um although i could wear it to work it wouldn't really matter but yeah this is just teamed with my cleo dungarees i think the colors work really nice together and then just as a bit of an added bonus round a lovely velvet and lace agnes for a nice dinner out so as you can see it is a really really versatile pattern the fit is amazing i really love the fit of it I often find with jersey patterns for tops that they just don't fit that well. I've tried a couple of different vest and t-shirt patterns and just the fit doesn't seem that great. But if I was to buy a top in H&M or something, it would fit me best. But I find the Agnes top just fits brilliantly. I think just the shape of it and it really curves in and out and it works really well. So it is my absolute go-to pattern for tops. Anyway, I'm going to leave you there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, if you did, give it a little thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.